and here is the completed system. That's about it. The AC lines. The breakers. Charge controller one. Perhaps much later down the road. Charge controller number two. And of course we got our box here. Our junction box for all the solar panel arrays. Of course we only have four at the moment. And of course the wireless router to connect up and read every once in a while the data on the midnight solar classic light. Here is where things have gotten innovative. I decided to change the actual structure of the supports for the panels because these are larger panels. I didn't really want to have to build a bottom frame and I needed there to be enough support or should I say yeah enough support to prevent the wind from blowing these things forward so I decided to use chain it's heavy has weight to it and it's tied to an anchor however a cable may also work fine and then that of course is what we are using between them to hold them down is I think uh, some 5 16 inch stainless steel I believe and of course anchors an anchor in the middle of each one of them <coughs> and as you can see the wires just come out from PVC pipe and the custom bend it a little bit and otherwise the wires will be kept from the sunlight during the winter angle they will be dropped down onto the center blocks here. <coughs> What's also of great benefit here are these wire lock clips, I believe is the proper term. Let's get over here. I might be able to see it better. Wire lock clips. You'll see that's just a hole in the 2x4. Just uh, unclip it and pull it out and it'll come down these aren't these aren't tied to anything down here and they're just on the ground but they are anchored down to keep the wind from blowing them forward and blowing them around everywhere and of course they're anchored at the bottom there so that does away with the bottom frame so in essence you just have essentially one frame and it's I think it's for better weather durability and the fact that should the bottom begin to wear the only bottom that these frames essentially have that actually touches the ground a landscape timber then it's easy enough to just take it off it take take it off and replace it and if if that gets right and right there then well let's just move on up a little bit so uh, definitely a drastic change from uh, the older style there, as you can see, that have the bottom frames. And the center blocks basically hold those down, but they are also smaller panels than these. So, this winter we'll see how well they hold up. Alright, thank you for watching.